Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. Today, we're diving back into Mafia Town and hopefully going to be starting chapter number, well I see chapter, sorry, chapter one, act four. It's going to take me so long to get that right. So, down with the Mafia. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, I have played this one before as well. Don't worry, the, the beginning of this Let's Play is going to be a lot of stuff we've already done, but it will eventually move into levels that I've never wandered into. So we've got to get ourselves over. Oh, we're actually already there. Fantastic. I'll take that. Right, in we get them. That's going to launch us high in the sky. And hopefully we don't die. Yeah, look you at that. Took your time. Mustache Come girl's getting harassed. Here. Get these brutes off my case and we can go inside. All right, all right, I'm coming. You ready for this? Uh, let's do that one, and that one, and then that one as well. There you go. One hit on each of them. Let's quickly grab all of this currency. Now, there are various different badges, and I can't remember if you buy the badges or if you find them. I'm fairly certain it's a case of you buy them um, with this currency that we're currently collecting, the green ones. And you can get things like, like the one I'm thinking about is one where all of the items gravitate towards you. It's super, super handy. So I want to try and get that one. Look how happy that Mafia entrance is. It's nothing like it. I wondered to myself when I walked into the casino, was this the place for me? Dirty kitchen, rusty spoons, but that hourglass is all I came here for. Gotta find my way into the thee, Aether. Accent on the A. <laughs> oh my god, where are you? Hi there, young one. Oh. I am from a far away land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You kind of remind me of No Face from, uh, from Spirited Away. You may call me the Badge Seller. Oh, okay, there we go, I Badge Seller, perfect. Badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. Mate, I've got so much money. I have a whole 114. Uh, what can we afford right now? We've got the, the item magnet. That's the one I was talking about. Uh, not bothered about that one so much. So I can also equip another one. Well, how about I buy those two? I'll buy the equip more, and then I'll get the magnet one. And then at least I've got the space for a second one sometime down the line. Just in case I end up spending it on something else. Because I'm assuming it's not the only thing that you buy with this currency. I guess we've already seen the open levels as well, don't you, as well? So it'd be nice just to buy whatever we can when we can. There you go. Nice. So is that automatically equipped? I think it might be. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look. It's already on the hat as well. So I think if you change the hat, I think it ends up being on the hat as well. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. What was it before? Oh, that was it. LB to change between them. And that was it. And then the fast change was on the uh, the D-pad. Cool. I'm with it now. Yeah, look. See all of these that are automatically like grabbing now. So much more useful. Uh, I'm tell you what, I'm just going to go around and grab all of these because I don't know how hard the currency is going to be to come by. Uh, get the heart one. Whoa, careful. Oh, damn. Okay, I hit my head on that one. My bad. Let me get myself back up there again. There you are. Because I think if I remember correctly, there was a dude over here. Yeah, this guy here. The mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking Cat is here. Cooking Cat. All right, a cooking cat. I'll prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the mafia's cooking. I see. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the mafia prepared food. <laughs> Probably. It looks grimy, doesn't it? All right. So you weren't, you're not actually saying much. Ow, the rat got me. Um, Where was Mustache Girl? Oh, see, there's a thing just there. Oh, yep, yeah, I remember now. Hold on a second. I remember the reason you go up to speak to Cooking Cat is because Cooking Cat has that bucket of, uh, like, lobsters or whatever it is. And you put that bucket onto the button, and it basically allows you to um, open up the little ledge. So, take one of those with me. Oh, hold on a minute. I think... Oh, no, a second ago, they were throwing rocks at me. I was sure of it. So, if I go like that and drop... There you go. And that holds that open. Then I've got the key. And then I take the key into the kitchen. Everything's groovy. Noise, noise, noise. All right, grab this one. In we go. So, this is where Mustache Girl is. Yeah, there we are. That's what we're talking about. Cool, we're in. Oh, hold on a second. So, we're going to the vent system. Okay, I'm with you. There you go. Nice. Whoa. There we go. Is there anything else in here? I don't think there is. What's with that random ledge just there? There you go. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a chest just there. I thought there might be something there. It just seemed oddly specific to have a ledge there if you couldn't get to it from the ground level. There you go, look at that. Shashayum. Got myself the wizard's hat. Actually, I should try it on, shouldn't I? Where is it? Wizard's hat. So this one is if you hold left trigger, 
There you go. You get a potion, you throw it, and it explodes. So basically, anything that we've seen that's been glowing, I'm th I think that's what it said on the Twitter. So anything that's glowing, you can basically, like, destroy and blow up. Um, do I just dive in there? Oh, there you go. That was a bit rapid, but it seemed to work. <laughs> that's all good. Uh, so looking around this way. Oh, the currency. Oh, first one we can try. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, there's another yarn as well. Perfect. So what hat are we working towards next? Let's have a look. Oh, no, we're not working towards any hat right now. Okay. Never mind. Oh, no, get rid of the potion. I don't think I'm going to need that. There you go. A couple of hearts just there. Oh, there he is. The big boss. Kind of looks like Lewis's character. You know, with the whole, like, red jacket, gold trimming, and the brown hair and the beard. Oh, double mafia. There you go. Nice. Whoa, careful. There you go. Nice. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, well, careful. I'm just going to keep doing this attack. Actually, maybe not. There you go. <laughs> Made them both explode in an instant. Uh, do I need any health? I think I'm good right now, aren't I? Yeah, I think it would be up on the screen if I was a little lesser. So, it is you. Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with timepieces. Ah, that's what they're officially called. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. <laughs> I haven't seen timepieces for over a hundred years. Oh my god, you look good for a hundred years. In any case, this piece belongs to the Mafia. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style. Bring it Lights. on. Action! It is showtime! Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. So, uh, can I attack that one? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, I think it's whenever he's blue, he's attackable. Oh, oh, sandbags. There we go. This is so much easier when I've got the sprint. Can I attack him now? Oh, no, I can't. I got way too close. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's it. Keep on jumping. There you go. Nice. Okay, cool. I can attack him now. Gotcha. Right, move away, move away, move away. Only when he's blue. 3 HP at the minute out of 4. It's not awful. There we go. What's going on now? Oh, yeah, get him. Gotcha. Nice, nice, nice. What's he got for us next? Okay, superchargers. That's fine. Whoa, okay. Those ones are actually a lot closer together. They caught me off guard a little bit. And attack. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, what's going on next? He's enraged. Has he got a big move up his sleeve or what? Oh, my word. What's that? What's that? Oh, he's blue. He's blue. Go for it. There you go. Nice. I don't know what was going on there. No, mustache girl. Uh-oh. 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 Ow, he got me. Yeah. GG, dude. Although I did get a um, an extra heart from him. Whoa. Oh, ouchie. I can attack him, though. So I wonder if every mafia that turns up here, I can get a heart off of them. Fingers crossed I can. Oh, he almost got me. Oh, yeah. I remember this part. So there's a little groove in it that I need to get myself inside of. This part just here. There we go. And then I can go like so. And then thwack him on in the butt. There you go. Oh, there's a heart over there. Oh, <laughs> another minute. I wasn't ready for this. Oh, wow. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Whoa. Okay. Uh, attack him. Got it. Just though. That felt really slow. My bad. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's some weird Autobot aim hacking sort of thing. That was like a heat seeking missile. Okay. Good. Okay, hold on. This is where it gets a bit crazy now. Well, no. Ouchie. Oh, Ran straight into it. Got it. Oh, get him. Get him. Get him. Fuck him. Okay, 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 okay. Go back, go back, go back. Oh. Oh, that didn't work. There you go. Got it that time. Oh, and he's finished him. I kind of get a bit of a Scott Pilgrim vibe when you do that part. And all those splatoony inky shots at the end. Oh, that's it. Look. The crowd lovers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. For my final act. This. Nailed it. Four timepieces of 40. 10% complete. Well, at least of the timepieces. I don't know how much of the game is made up of, like, extra little goodies and secrets. Uh-oh. she taking it off us? What? So what do these things do anyway? Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? <laughs> You're so cool. Please don't break it. Oh. Are they some sort of rare co Wait. Huh? You done goofed. Whoa. What? 
Well, did, um, did you know about this? Yeah, a little bit. You want to be careful with those, friend. They're our way of getting home. This is crazy! <laughs> Do you even realise what could be done with these? We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time. We could beat up the Mafia, travel back in time, and then beat them up again! I mean, we're leaning towards evil now. No, wait. Uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island! That makes more sense. Wait, wait, wait! Even better! <laughs> we could be crime fighting time travellers! Ooh, I like it! Oh no. Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. I've not seen this part before. I don't think this, this cutscene even happened before on this part. You have oh, all no. this power and you're not going to use it to fight evil. Oh no, don't fall out. We've only just become friends. She's not having any of it. If you're not going to use them to fight evil, then I will. Yeah, but you don't have any. I'm not going to let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces oh. for myself. You have my word on it. Straight from friend to rival. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Did she swipe it? Mustache girl is pickpocketing. No, she took a dollar. <laughs> I love how far it went in the negative. Enemies. Oh dear. So is she going to be like the the main antagonist for this? Then is she going to be like the overarching story, the person we've got to deal with, or is she just going to like see past our differences eventually and realise that we're not all bad? God knows. Um, I tell you what, let's sort of put this theory to the test with the whole, like, doing it in different orders. So now we've unlocked the second area because we've got four of the, um, the hourglasses. So this is going to take us down to the Battle of the Birds, apparently. So let's have a little looky. There we go. Oh, I tell you what, actually. There's another door just there with some explosives in front of it. Let me try this. Oh, no, wrong boxes. There you go. I tell you what, she swiped all those ponds. Just got and got on loads back. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, there's another one. Hold on a second. Open the door. I'm assuming I don't take damage if I'm stuck close to it. Let me test this theory. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't take any damage whatsoever. Perfect. Right, what have we got here though? Hold on a second. What's that? Can I collect it? No, I can't collect it. Oh. Oh, it's this thing. So this is like the Mario Galaxy bonus stages looking thing. Oh, uh, okay, cool, yeah. One of these was in the, uh, the speedrun demo, wasn't it? In the little, like, timed one. Uh, let's go like so. Oh, yeah, this is awesome. Whoa, careful, dude. Okay, I'm going completely the wrong way right now. I, need, I think I've got to get around the other side of it. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, yeah, it's looking a bit more staircasey there. There we go. <laughs> Surprised to survive that. Let's blow this bad boy up. There you go. I try and keep the sprint hand on as much as possible. It's kind of like my preferred one. Oh, now, do I need to parry these? Do I need to press it on the jump or is it just... Oh, no, yeah, okay, cool. Just forcing yourself into them does the trick. I was worried that I had to press, like, an extra double jump or something off of it. Okay. Hold on a minute. So if I go like this and then lob that. There you go. Nailed it. Good timing. Whoa, no! <laughs> Good timing, he says as he falls to, to his death. Whoa, no! Okay, I messed that up, but somehow clutched it. That is fine by me. Chill. Okay, cool. Right. Let me get that hat out again. So it's... A little bit of that, and a little bit of uh, this. There you go. Lotions and potions everywhere. Right, let's get back to this one. Where is it? So, cross to you. Oh, the spiders there. Let's have a look. Hold on a minute. Can I get around the spiders? Well, then maybe I have to use the spiders. Hold on. So, off of you, and then off of you. Nice. Okay, cool. Just about made it. Uh, up there, off the other wall, and up you go. Nailed it. Okay, cool. We're doing all right here. Uh, I've got to go up again, I'm guessing, and then onto that ledge, and then we are at the finish. Yay! Got it! Another hourglass, without even having to step foot in an act. Just a cheeky little side quest. Wait, whoa, 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 what's this? There we go, hat flare. So we can claim this prize or re-roll. Uh, let's try re-roll, see what else we can get. 
a new remix. I'm not too bothered about music stuff, I don't think. What's this one going to be? A hat flare. Oh my god, it's Reptar. <laughs> That's some Rugrats level stuff. Oh, it's a different sprint hat. Oh, cool. I didn't realise that hats were actually going to change. Ah. So I wonder if that's a quicker hat, or if it's just the same, but it just looks different. You know what I mean? Hold on a minute, have we, have we got it on? Oh yeah, look at it! <laughs> little hat girl, she's a little dinosaur now. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm into this. Right, let's get ourselves into our first act then, of chapter two. Let's see what's going on. Which one's this one going to be? Dead Bird Studio. Okay, find out where those timepieces went. Top review, two, two and a half stars. Actors are terrible. Oh dear. Some girl. <laughs> Look at that guy. Are those his eyebrows. I don't know if I've played this level before. I don't think I have. Filming in progress. Oh, that's the guy from the train, actually. I remember him. The guy on the left. This movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. <laughs> the movie should be made by real birds. You moon penguins are just going to oh, make some loud, damn. noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on bird seed, ha, I'd visit my grandchildren. Oh, my God. <laughs> nonsense, darling. Nonsense. <laughs> Ain't no thing, baby. Just go with the flow, man. You know what I mean? You Owl Express birds are just going to record another boring train-related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. Oh, no. It's old versus new. What? No, we haven't, you buffoon. Conductor, darling. This year we'll be winning the annual Bird Movie Award oh. as our new movie props will bring in the audience. These shiny things fell from oh, the sky. Time they will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Oh yeah! <laughs> I love him, he's so good. We're also spicing it up with our newest movie props. So many R's. These hourglass thingies will be the grand jewel in our train heist western. And does he have three and the other guy's only got two? Oh, no, I think they both got three. Okay, fair enough. Oh, no, actually. No, yeah, wait, yeah. The conductor's what got the three. What? You no good dirty picnic. Oh, dear. You copied our props. <laughs> I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my flashy new props. Oh, that does it. Uh -oh. Get out of here with you. I've got a movie to record. <laughs> Fine by me, darling. Director's going but at we'll it. Be oh, the ones my word. Win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mark my word. Look how high his platform shoes are as well. I've only just realized. That's so funny. Oh, my God. He did the splits before leaving. And he's just skating everywhere. What a dude. What an absolute dude. Ooh. Let's see how well you do when you can't get into oh the reception. <laughs> what are you doing, Conductor? Leave him alone. Uh, Shutting the picnics inside the studio will force them to work hard. Yeah, you've done yourself over there, mate. All right, time to go, Owls. Let's make our killer movie. Let's go. Am I going to go join them to make a and, film? And, uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. Oh, God. I've only just seen the no humans allowed sign as well. What's that all about? Right, hold on a minute. So, can I even go in there? Uh, yeah, sorry. The conductor has said only birds are allowed oh. past here. And he specifically said no penguins of any kind. Well, I have no idea why. I'm just a passenger on his train. Whatever gets us back on the train faster. Are you in character right now? I'm just a train passenger. I don't even know what this place is. We just pulled up here and were told that we were going to take a pee break. Right, let's have a look then. What are you, friend? Oh, I get some schnazzy glasses. Look at this cool dude over you here. See my fingers here? You see how they're snapping? That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Oh. Oh, look. My fingers have taken a liking to you. <laughs> look at them go. Snap, snap. Snap. Yeah, okay, I get it. I'll leave you alone. Right, let's get ourselves through that vent then. Find out what the hell is going on inside of the uh, the penguin studio. Oh, there you go. Just about made it. Uh, can I whack it? Oh, it's B. There you go. Good job. What? Trespassing? Weird little girl. Spaceship in the sky. Is that our address? Minus 7,000 ponds. I only have 99. 
You're asking for four digits. I don't even have three. Oh, wait, wait, time pieces. There we are. No, and, uh, yep, they're gone. Of course they are. Oh, jeez. Whoa, I probably want to stay out of the way of that. I think that's like on the train with the, um, the weird... I think they're owls, aren't they? Or are they ravens? What were those things from the murder mystery? They had a similar mechanic with that. Where are we going from here? Oh, jeez, there's lights everywhere. Oh, I can go down there, actually. Let's do that. Let's go this way. Here we go. Okay, up to there. Oh, hold on a minute. Go, 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 go. Really quick. There you go. Man, this sprint hat is awesome. Uh, I did see a glow. Let's have a look. A salt on cactus. A grand and a half. There's, a, there's, a, there's something up there. How would you get to that? Is there a way around to it from this side? Oh, my word. Hold on a minute. There's way too many characters here. Let me see if I can get up and over them to start with. Uh, there you go. Yeah, is there a way up that way? Ah, yeah, I thought there might be. All right. Quickly grab you. Nice. There we go. Oh, it's so cold. The ice yarn. Wait, can we unlock that now? Let's have a look. Oh, no, we've only got two. But, yeah, there we go. We can actually make that ice hat eventually. So, the ice hat is pretty cool because it has... Oh, why did I do that? Don't know why I did that. That was, that was silly of me. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. That was strange. Let me quickly grab that one. No, yeah, the ice hat, it has these platforms. And when you use the ice hat on it, you end up, like, flinging left and right. Don't you? Almost went into it. There we go. We're good. Oh, at least we kept the yarn that we collected a second ago. Right. Let's have a little look at this. This music's very, like, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, it's long gone. Can I bring it back? Oh, I can. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, no. That's way too quick. Give me a second. So you start there. Now try and go. There you go. Go across there. Nailed it. Right. Oh, there is a ladder over there, though. Is there no way I can send myself back? Okay, no, wait. Note to self. I'll come back for that. Someday, somehow. Uh, which one do we want to go here? There seem to be two two ways to go. There's the director just there. Oh, careful of that penguin. Oh, he turns inward. Okay, that's fine. Now, I don't know if he turns inward on the other side. Fingers crossed he does. Oh, jeez. This is scary. Oh, there you go. We're upstairs. What are we doing up here? Oh, whoa, there's a guy right there. There you go. Nice. Got it. There's a chest. What's inside of you? Oh, a relic. This unknown relic might match with others. It looks like a cake or... Actually, wait. Is it a cake? Where is it? Bag. Oh, no. It looks more like a burger. It looks like the bottom half of a burger. Oh, huh, that's weird. Um, is there any way down from here? Oh, no. We've basically just got to do it in reverse. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, my God. What am I doing? No. Fluffed it. Oh, right, I'm back where I wanted to be anyway. That's fine. Right, now I'm going to guess it's this way to be going then. So, like so. Quickly grab that. Just get out of there before that guy starts rotating around the corner. Destruction of property. Three grand. Dude, we are going to be broke as a joke at the end of all of this. Let's quickly grab that one. Oh, look. There's the other director. I love how close their studios are together. Uh, let's have a little lucky. What's going on there? Oh, there's a lever just there, actually. There you go. If I thwack it. There you are. Oh, hide out of the way. Hide out of the way. Okay, I've got to do the same thing again, but this one's a little bit more tricksy. There you go. Nice. And go like so. Yeah, nailed it. All right, look at the grooves. Let's get our groove on. Uh, let's go up that way. Up the giant wub wub. Big speaker. Uh, is it worth trying to grab those things just there? Is he only facing in one direction? Oh, he is. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, no. He sort of did a 360, but his view didn't change. What's going on there? Oh, yeah, there's no way of getting across there. Let me use this first. Oh, I see it puts him in the dark. All right. Just about last long enough to do that. Let's try it again. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, that way looks good. Take it. Cool, cool, cool. Tampering. What was that? Tampering with electronics, did it say? 13 grand. Oh, my God. Our total is going to be ridiculous. I wonder if, like, one of the run-throughs of this level is you've got to try and cause as much destruction as humanly possible. Let me try and get on the other side of that. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm worried about this bird. guy. Yikes. Okay, now we're fine. As long as we stay at the front, I think we're good. Yeah, look, he's not even going to catch us. Nailed it. There you go. A little bit more. Don't need a heart one just yet. We do have our magnet thing on, but you don't seem particularly close. <laughs> look at her. She's doing a little jig on the spot, and she's got a finger gun. Oh, she's fully channeling her uh, her inner, like, James Bond. Oh, dear. TPTKO. I quite like that. Oh, got to be real quick on that one. Oh, ah, no, you turned around. Why would you do that? Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. So we can't see us there. Owl harassment is apparently on the list. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now go upstairs. Good, good, good. And if I go up that way. Yep, yeah, nailed it. Let's get across there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Is that a bad light or a good light? Oh, it's neither. Okay, we're fine with that. Right, where are we going? Oh, there's a penguin just there. I'm going to go up to those things. Now, are you going to turn around and go the other way? Go on, bud. Sod off. There you go. Good, good, good. Okay, right. Oh, my God. Uh, the perspective on this one is a little scary, but we got it. Oh, look, here he is. Oh, Mr. Funk and Soul and Groove himself. Let's go. Hello, friend. Magnificent. Stunning. <laughs> this trophy is everything I desire. On the shelf in my living room. Oh, was that the prize course, from the for the awards? This trophy is just a plastic replica. Oh. The actual trophy is really tiny. You want the proper size one then, don't you? Oh, my. Oh, my. What is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? Sure, if that's what you see in me, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, look at us in our little reptile hat. <laughs> we look so ridiculous. Hello. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. That's good. I could use some non penguin company. He really moves here. like a Jet Set Radio all my character. These are frankly terrible actors. Here's the biz. I need your help. Okay. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. Oh, mate, I feel bad for you. There's no doubt. I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. Okay. What are you going to do for me? Oh, nice. You got rid of our bill. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right a bird here. bird passport? But I'm a human slash dinosaur. What do I do? Oh, wait. The talk. most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have <laughs> darling. to flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. Okay, let's do this thing. Where is it? Over here. Right, okay, here we go. Put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. All right, let's go for it. Wait, is the joke that I actually move? And then, I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see how the picture turned out. Oh, it's not going to be good, mate. <laughs> Darling, you moved. The picture is ruined. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Oh, nice. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, oh. fashionable young lady. We did this before, didn't we? In one of the previous builds. You know what? I like Hat Girl as she is. I don't think she needs to change a thing. Done. Perfect. There we go. Let's slide this picture into your passport. It's surprisingly non-blurry considering we moved. One passport for you. Thanks, darling. There it is. I'm legally a bird now. I think. Wonderful, darling. Oh, just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow, and we'll make you a star. Oh my God! Lights, glamour, showbiz. We've done it all, everybody. And he's out of here as well. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh. Uh, nothing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual bird movie awards. That's fraud! Fraud! <laughs> hey, everyone! <laughs> we've got a fraudster over here! I love his voice acting so much. Oh, where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Uh, all right, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, and I can't take you to jail, then you're got to help me even the score. Sure, That's okay. That's right. You're got to be the star of my movies, too. Ah, so we're going to be the hot new thing in town. We're going to be in all the films. Yeah. Hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie yes, set yes, tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. You got that? Don't be late. Don't worry. We'll be right on time. Pun very much so intended. Right. Give us that hourglass. Yeah, boy. We got ourselves a passport, some cool shades, a reptile hat, a spot in two movies, maybe more. Oh, man. What a day. What a day. So, I think that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to dive in. Oh, there's an intruder alert. Who's this first? Oh, it's that chef from Mafia Town. Hold on, what are you doing here? Let me just very quickly find out. Where are we? Oh, we're in this room. Okay, hold on a minute. I want to quickly find out what this guy is doing here before we crack on. Hello, friend. What a lovely spaceship you have here. Sorry for the break and entering. 
I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. Again, they're all fascinated by spaceships, but they all act as if space travel is like a new thing to them. How have they gotten into space initially? Just on a casual whim, you know what I mean? <laughs> I expected aliens to be more green and yep. probably with a thirst for flesh. Oh. But I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? I mean, I'm a half green. Well, a third green. My head's green at the minute. Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you won't know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Okay. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. Cook in cage. Relics. Oh, isn't that isn't our burger thing a relic? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, look, that's the one. Burger cushion relic for free. Okay. Oh, perfect. That's literally the other half of what we need, isn't it? You can identify this relic at the podium. If, if you, you place on the podium in the correct order, it'll make sense of it. To identify a relic, something ah. great might happen. You never know. So keep an eye out for relics. Sure. I've taught you everything I know about relics. Perfect stuff. Thank you so much, dude. Let's go give it a try then. So it's on one of these platforms, isn't it? Repair for 50. We Yeah, okay, we can afford that. There you go. It's all fixed. And then we've got the burger bottom and the burger top. Oh, there you go. It's a match. You've identified a relic from this strange planet. Oh, whoa. It's like a museum piece. Oh. So that's now going to be a bonus level, I bet. Because that's the same kind of thing that we had in the library. Or the gallery, should I say. Because that was like a um, that was like a blue version of that one. A blue and yellow one. But that one's like pink and purple, I guess. Oh, wow. A hundred to unlock that level. Jeez. Yeah, no, there we go. Time Rift detected. Ah, oh, this is really cool. I'm into it. Oh, there's another one detected. Is that going to be a blue and yellow one? Yeah, I think so. So if I, like, click on one of them. Ah, oh, it shows you where it is. I know exactly where that is because that cannon on the left there, that fires you directly through the mountain. So as soon as you find one, you basically, you've got it sorted. And then we've got that one, which is by a brick wall and in a pipe. Ah, I reckon these might be more from like the completionist inside of me. So I'm going to ignore them a little bit for now. And I'm going to leave it there for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we're going to dive back into the bird studio and feature ourselves in a movie film. And I'll see you all then. Ta-ra.